Welcome! This is just going to be a brief review of Ohm's Laws and how to use a multimeter when checking circuitry. Uh, eventually this will lead up to a constant current source driving a number of loads, but let's get started on the circuit you see before you. I have a 15 volt supply. Here's my positive side and a negative ground. I have two 10 ohm resistors in parallel and that is in series with a 10 ohm resistor R3 and that is in series with an amp meter. Alright, let's note something about amp meters. Amp meters are always connected in series. Current is measured in series always. Voltage is measured in parallel. So if we look over here, this voltmeter from ground to this test point is in parallel, but the amp meter is in line with the current here. That is a voltmeter up there that is parallel to this pass transistor and so forth. All right, let's note some things. In a series circuit, such as you see here, the voltage drops the total voltage drops always equal when added back together the input voltage. So let's take a look at this. We have two 10 ohm resistors in parallel. If you remember your parallel formula that I'm not going to go over here, my total resistance is really 5 ohms. As you see here, R1 parallel with R2 is 5 ohms. Okay, that parallel combination is in series with a 10 ohm resistor so the total resistance is 15 ohms. Now if I take a voltmeter and measure from ground to test point 1 I will read 5 volts. If I take a voltmeter and read from B to C I will read 10 volts. 5 volts plus 10 volts equals 15 volts. All right, something else to note. What is going to be my current? Okay, all you need to do is divide your total resistance, R total, 15 ohms into 15 volts, and you get 1 amp. You get 1 amp through R3, but the 1 amp will split between the two parallel resistors. Since they are both the same value, 500 milliamps goes through R1, 500 milliamps goes through R2. Before we leave this frame, let's note some vital knowledge on amp meters and volt meters. Okay, first of all, you never put the meter on ohms reading to measure voltage. You don't do that. You'll probably damage the meter. You never connect an amp meter, which you have here at A and B. You never connect an amp meter in parallel to a load. Never. You can connect a voltmeter across an amp, parallel to an amp meter. That's fine. But you never connect an amp meter, for instance, from, say, test point one to ground. You'll damage the meter. Why is this? or you'll blow the power supply, blow the fuses, or whatever. If you look up in this corner, the meter itself, and this could represent some digital electronic LED display or a analog mechanical meter, is rated at a very low voltage. If you take 1 milliamp times 200 ohms, its, rate, it's 2 tenths of a volt will give you full-scale deflection. Now, over here, I'm measuring 0 to 5 amps. It's obvious that I cannot send 5 amps or 5,000 milliamps through a 1 amp meter movement. So what we have is a very low, volt, low resistance shunt. 4,999 milliamps will go through the shunt. 1 milliamp will go through the meter. Alright, 
this is the previous circuit except for this time I'm going to assume that this 10 ohm resistor has gone bad. It got hot, it opened, it is just electrically not there anymore. There's no current going through it because it's like an open switch. And what have we got now? All right, now we don't have the parallel combination that gave me 5 ohms. I have a single 10 ohm resistor. And so our total resistance this time is 20 ohms. 10 plus 10 is 20 ohms. The same current through R3 equals the current through R1. If we drop back to the previous frame, we don't have the effect where 1 amp divide it between the two resistors. All of the current go, still goes through R3, but it also goes through R1. But now our 20 ohms, our, our total resistance, total R, has changed from 15 ohms to 20 ohms. So my total resistance is 20 ohms. If I divide 20, uh, if I divide uh, 20 ohms into 15 volts, I get 0 0.75 amps or 750 milliamps. I get 750 milliamps through R1, I get 750 milliamps through R3. If I take a voltmeter and measure from ground to test point 1, I'm going to read 7.5. If I connect a voltmeter from B to C, I'm going to read 7.5 as well. 7.5 plus 7.5 equals 15 volts. To actually calculate the voltage without even having to measure it with a voltmeter, read your current. Current times resistance gives you voltage. 0.75 times 10 is 7.5 volts from B to C. 10 ohms at 0.75 amps is 7.5 volts. Here is a test circuit that we're not going to go over. In this case, I'm using a constant current source. And we will explain the differences, what this is, in another video elsewhere. But you notice I have a voltmeter again parallel to this pass transistor Q1. Voltmeters are always connected in parallel to whatever you're measuring. Now this Q1's collector current is not being read by this meter, but you'll see something here. Our input is 18 volts. I have 5 volts there. So if you actually measured the voltage across the transistor, it is going to be 13 volts. The voltage here is the same voltage as over here. The 1 amp through the transistor is the 1 amp down here. Note the polarity on your amp meter. These are DC amp meters. Yes, they have polarity. And finally, I'll finish this off with a brief video on these meters being actually connected to a similar device. Thanks for listening.